Welcome. This is a tutorial on how to take this and turn it into that. Or in other words, how to upload avatars that you buy from me. This video is going to be in two parts. Part one is going to be the TLDR and part two is going to be a more thorough explanation. The TLDR is step one, find the avatar you want. Step two, download it. Step three, use the creator companion to open the correct version of Unity for VR chat with the newest SDK. Step four, import the version of Poyomi listed on the avatar's product page. Step five, import the Unity package of the model that you downloaded from me. Step six, drag the scene into the hierarchy. And then step seven is to upload and you are done. Now I'm going to explain some of these steps in more detail for the peeps that need more info. Step one is to already have Creator Companion installed. This isn't a tutorial on Creator Companion, this is just for uploading my avatars. Step two is to make a new project using the correct Unity version found here on the current Unity version page. Step three is to open your new project and wait an eternity for Unity to load. A quick tangent to talk about navigation so you know what I'm talking about while we move forward. This is the hierarchy. This is the asset browser. This is the viewport. This is the inspector. These are usually all that you need and my setup might look a little different, but all of these windows do the same thing. Step four is to download the avatar that you want. In this case, I'm going to use Floofy Kit since she's the model that I used for my first tutorial. While you're on the avatars product page, make sure you take note of the version of Poyomi shader that I listed as required. Step five is then to go to Poyomi Toon Shader's GitHub to download the correct version for the avatar that you're using. Step six is to import the version of Poyomi Toon Shader needed for the avatar that you got. You can either right click the asset browser and select to import a custom package, or you can drag and drop the Unity package directly into the asset browser. Either way, you'll get this pop-up and you just have to click import and then wait a few moments. Step seven is much like step six. You're now going to find the avatar's Unity package and import that. You want to make sure that you import Poyomi Toon Shader first, since the avatar will be trying to use that shader. Step eight, once you import the avatar package, you're gonna see a folder with my name on it, Riceballer 3D. Double click and enter that folder and you're gonna locate the folder with the avatar that you downloaded. If you have multiple avatars from me, they will all be in the same Riceballer 3D folder. From within the folder of the avatar you just purchased, in this case, Floofy Kit, you should see a scene. You're going to click on that scene and drag it from the asset browser into the hierarchy. Step nine is to open the SDK control panel by going to the VR chat dropdown at the top and then you log in using your VR chat info. I have my VRChat control panel docked on the right, just so I always have it. Once you log in, you just add a description. For the thumbnail, I've already added a custom thumbnail that you can select by navigating to where you've saved your Unity project. After that, all you have to click is upload. It will also ask you to lock the shader, etc., etc. Just go ahead and hit yes. After some time, it will say that it is done and that is it. It will be in game. And that's it. It'll be in game. Uh, if you like my work and you want to support me, please consider joining my Patreon. I like to post early whip images and beta tested, uh, beta testing versions of my avatars for Patreon members. Your support is what allows me to keep making the art that I love. I'm also going to be posting my card page with links to my other social media and commission information uh, and store pages for anyone who wants to take a look. I'm also going to try to stream on Twitch or Picarto more often, so please check those out as well. Thanks so much for watching and happy VR chatting.